Hello, welcome to my video. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to convert data between GeoJSON and Google's engine. Okay, so uh, this in order to follow this tutorial, you need to install the GE Map Python package. Um, if you have not installed yet, you uh, can follow my previous video on how to install the package. Okay, let's get started. So all we need to do is just open the Jupyter Notebook and it's open a new tab on your browser then we're going to navigate into the folder and examples notebooks so we are going to use the one called geojson and so first of all we need to import those uh, packages uh, the first one is ge map and we also have some other packages the, the built-in um, python libraries and also the most important one is the GeoJSON to Earth Engine and Earth Engine to GeoJSON. So those are the two primary functions that we are going to use to convert data between GeoJSON and Earth Engine. If you want to know the details how those function works, you can um, clone the GitHub repo and go into the source code. So these are the two functions in here that I wrote to convert the data format from GeoJSON to Google's Engine. So just a, a quick note, GeoJSON, so those are data files, they, it's on your local computer. But if you convert to Earth Engine object, then it's in the Earth Engine cloud. You can use those to do analysis with other Earth Engine data. Okay, so let's come back to this file in here. All you need to do, execute. And then we are going to create an interactive map. So, um, once we create the map, um, we can load the GeoJSON data. So this line of code basically is trying to uh, access the file uh, in here, and then examples data. So we have some example files in here. And um, so if the file does not exist, it's going to download the data from my GitHub repo and then save the file to your computer. And after that, it's going to open the file and load the data into the memory so simple just uh, hit execute and so this one uh, we are using the united states uh, boundary so you can also open the data in here in visual studio code if you look at this one in here so basically just a bunch of uh, polygons free collection and then for each one represent one state um, it's uh, 51 states in here and uh, so those are the points the geometry the coordinates um, once we have the GeoJSON, then we can use the, the GeoJSON class from the IPY leaflet library to convert this one to a, uh, a JSON layer. And once you have the layer, then you can use that to put onto the map. So very simple, just execute. So now you have the map and pretty nice. You can hover your mouse, then you can see those are being highlighted as um, um, red color. You can customize those in here. Uh, from the hover style. If you, if you change the color, you will change the color. You can turn the layer on, you can turn the layer off, you can zoom in and zoom out. It works the, um, nicely. So next, let's talk about how we can convert this one to Google's engine. As I mentioned, these are GeoJSON objects. It's on your local computer. It's not sent to the cloud yet. All we need to do is to call this function uh, GeoJSON to EE and passing the, our GeoJSON objects. And when it returns, it will become Google Earth Engine data. Then we just add this data layer back into the map. And let's take a look, run this one. And now you see, let's uncheck the GeoJSON. So this one right now, the black color, uh, half transparent data is Earth Engine data. So right now this data set is div in the Google Earth Engine Cloud we can use that to do analysis with us with other uh, earth engine data layers if you if you want to okay so this is google's engine uh, google's engine also have a us states boundary but we're not using that one because that one is way too detailed it's too many points so it might take a long time to convert next i'm going to show you how do you convert so the previous one we convert from geojson to google's engine object we can also convert Google's engine objects back to GeoJSON. So all we need to do is just use the function reverse the EE to GeoJSON and pass in the Earth engine object 
then it will return the geojson similarly we can add the geojson layers back to the map so all we need to do hit this one one and now we have that one converted back to i mean in the real uh, world scenario you don't have to do like like this i'm just showing you as an example how you can convert data from uh, uh, earth engine to geojson so in here so in this way you can um convert most of the earth engine objects uh the the physical collection to geojson and once it's uh, converted to geojson you can have these things for example hover you can you can do more things with the interactive mapping because if this earth engine object uh, you can do analysis but in terms of visualization um you there's not much you can do so you need to convert it back to your local client so that you can customize Okay, so that's how we convert data between GeoJSON and Google Earth Engine. Next, I'm going to show you something that, for example, uh, how you can add the GeoJSON data layer and then customize, and then so they can capture the user input to show information about each GeoJSON object. Similarly, we're going to use the other data set called countries. So this is the GeoJSON file for countries all over, uh, around the globe. And similarly, you're going to download the file if this does not exist on your computer. Then we open the file and load into the GeoJSON data layer. And similarly, then we can execute. Oh, we need to execute this line first and then add the data layer. Now we have the data for the entire uh, entire globe. Right, so this, oh, not this one. So it should be the countries. Now, okay, so now it's the countries. And you will see from here, right, each country is one um one polygon but for example you are interested in you know which country because when you hover your mouse you don't know which country so the last piece of a puzzle here is that we want to utilize the ipy widget so basically when you hover your mouse you want to show the country name and other information so those are things that you can easily customize so it use ipy leaflet the widget control and also the uh, ipy widget to show you the html so, and then when you hover your mouse, it's going to show you the information. Just click, then we come back to here. Now you, your mouse is not in the map here. It asks you to hover over country. Then you move your mouse here inside and you see the information changes as you move your mouse, right? So pretty nice. So this short uh, video shows you basically how to convert the data between GeoJSON and Earth Engine and how you can bring the data from Google's engine to uh, GeoJSON so that you can customize uh, the layers um, and to show more information, to retrieve the information and show it on the map interactively. Okay, that's all for this video. If you enjoy this video, please consider hitting the like button and uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Otherwise, I will see you in my next video. Take care. Bye-bye.